Wednesday, May 26, 2021, uh, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So today we're going to look at gold and silver and how they're still climbing a wall of worry since March. And uh, before I, I do that, though, and look at the technicals, I wanted to talk about uh, a few things. One of them is uh, personal uh, and it's uh, my decision to go to Switzerland next week. Uh, I want to travel to Switzerland. Some of you might know I have uh, my mother and my sisters there, uh, my brother-in-law, uh, nephew. And one of my nieces, though, she's married to an American and uh, she's in Florida. She's traveling there this Friday with my great nieces. They're four and two. And I've never seen them. And uh, they've been to Switzerland a few times, but I'm here in the UK, so it's difficult to time time it. And uh, I've decided to go. And I'm going to go on my own because my wife has to take care of her uh, mother here in the UK. Uh, but uh, the rules and uh, regulations they've put on people traveling is uh, bordering uh, on criminality, in my opinion. And how have they managed to do this? Well, I think it goes to the top, to the United Nations, because most of the countries in the world, I, I guess all of them, are members of the UN. So if the UN and the WHO decide on something, all the governments concertedly uh, follow these uh, stupid rules. We know the UN was financed by the Rockefellers. <laughs> uh, there's this famous picture of J.D. Uh, Rockefeller uh, Jr., I think, uh, giving the check for the U.N. Uh, to build their Manhattan uh, headquarters. Of course, I think it was $7 million back in the 40s, which was a lot of money. So we know who controls the U.N. Uh, so to go to Switzerland, I'm going to have to do a, a test that is supposedly not appropriate for detecting uh, this uh, thing, right? Uh, the guy who invented it died last year and he said it's not appropriate. So I'm supposed to uh, pay 139 pounds for this test and then wait 24 hours to see the result and then book my flight uh, in the next for the next day or two because uh, it has to be done within a 72-hour window. And then when I get to Switzerland, I don't think I have a problem there, but I'll have to do another test there before I leave. I don't know how much I'm going to have to pay for that test there. It's probably a little less, but again, probably another 100 pounds at least. And then when I get back here, I'm going to have to isolate for 10 days, and I'm going to have to probably pay another 200 pounds uh, to do another two tests. Uh, it, it's just madness. And uh, the only reason I'm doing it is because I haven't seen the other part of my family for almost two years. And, and I really want to meet the, my great nieces. They're great little girls. Uh, and uh, the flight, <laughs> by the way, a, a return flight is about 200 pounds. So it's going to cost me more in tests than, than the cost of flights. Uh, and uh, I think it's totally outrageous, but there you go. Um, I don't think it's going to get better, unfortunately, unless something happens, unless the sheeple out there wake up and stop uh, conforming. Uh, I went into uh, town yesterday to have some uh, breakfast at a place that just reopened that I like going, and it was almost empty. My wife went for lunch with a group of friends. I think there were five to a nice Italian restaurant, and they said there's only one other table full, and it was one person. So, uh, so much for the economic recovery that we're having. It's all fake people. The other thing I like to say, uh, today is supposed to be another uh, Silver Raid day, May 26, even though for me, I, I try to make it almost uh, every week. Uh, uh, silver stacking week. Yesterday, I actually, for the first time, I bought some PSLV. I thought I'd try that. So I've got PSLV as well. Uh, last week, I bought a little bit of constitutional US silver from eBay, which was really uh, delivered the next day. It was really good service. Some people on eBay uh, do a good job. Uh, so yes, the silver movement is continuing. Uh, 
Jeff Christian is uh, fighting a losing battle, I think. To Jeff Christian, uh, silver is air, right? It's whatever JP Morgan or Goldman Sachs or the HSBC want to say it is, right? And once in a while, they get caught lying about the amount of silver uh, they have, like 106 million. But for us, for real people, this is what silver is, not air. So Jeff Christian seems to think that it's normal uh, to fractional reserve something. Uh, maybe uh, we should start fractional reserving wigs for him. Uh, then he could maybe uh, show us what he really looks like. Uh, because in his world, you can just make stuff up that, that's fake. Maybe we should have fake wigs, uh, Jeff Christian. And, and I heard uh, some pretty disparaging remarks from him because he was challenged to a debate, I think with Chris Marcus and others, uh, Robert Keynes. And his reply was, uh, I don't respond to nobodies. And I think that's really, <laughs> that's gonna come back to haunt him, hopefully, because you don't say that to anyone. Um, my father always taught me that you respect everyone. It doesn't matter if it's a king or queen or if it's a janitor. You, you talk to them uh, as if they were a human being. And I think Jeff Christian just showed his true colors there. So, <laughs> Uh, now, with, with the uh, wall of worry, wh what is that term? Well, it's a term, a market term that I learned, of course, from my over 20 years in the financial markets. It, it's when uh, people are not too convinced of a, a move higher in an asset. They, they say that uh, that asset is climbing a wall of worry. And that's what gold feels like. Uh, we've gone up... Uh, Four big figures uh, in gold since March, and people are still cautious uh, about gold. So four big figures, what does, does that mean? Well, we went from a low of around 1675 in March, and now we're at 1906. So that's 16, 17, 18, 19, four big figures, and, and people are still cautious I made a video a, a, a few weeks ago that the 1800 level, once we broke that, uh, we're gonna go almost straight up and, and it has been. So what is the key level now? Well, I was looking at this chart yesterday of uh, gold, it's a weekly chart, and I did a Fibonacci retracement of the move from the high last year around 2075 to the low in March around 1675. And the 61.8% uh, retracement comes in at 1923. And it's uh, strange how uh, 10 years ago in 2011, 1920 was the all time high. So I think that's the level now that uh, uh, Jeff Christian's uh, friends are gonna keep an eye on so they can throw more air into the system, but uh, they're not going to su succeed, just like the London Gold Pool in the 60s, which is actually a covert manipulation uh, group of uh, Western central banks led by the Federal Reserve, uh, really the treasuries of those together with the central banks. Uh, they found out that uh, they uh, were running out of physical. They're actually doing it with real physical. Now they're doing it with air, but they're running out of the physical as well uh, to, you know, the small amount of physical that they probably have to, to leverage uh, the air trades or paper trades. So, uh, yeah, and there's the wall of worry. It, you just keep going up and up and people are still worried that gold is uh, gonna go uh, to $700 like uh, Mr. Uh, Harry Dent says. But uh, I think uh, it looks good. And uh, I'm not saying we're gonna go to 2000 right away, but it looks very imminent. Uh, matter of weeks, in my opinion. And silver, Silver has got a little different technical uh, picture, and uh, I'll bring up the weekly chart here. Uh, for me, it looks more like a, a consolidation, and it's like a spring 
ready to uh, burst. <laughs> it's a coiled spring or it's a basketball being held under the water uh, and it's going to pop. And that's what it looks like to me. And, and it, as you can see, we've broken through the, the top of that pennant. Uh, some people might use a different, different line for that consolidation, but that's my line. I, I think, uh, yeah, 30, of course, is going to be like the line line in descent. And talking about silver, yesterday I had a really nice chat with Jim Lewis and Lee Justo of Wall Street Silver. They're going to publish that interview tomorrow. I had a really good time with them. We, we talked about many things and uh, I highly recommend uh, if you are on Reddit to join the Wall Street Silver Group. They're almost up to, uh, we're almost up to 83,000 silverbacks. It was only about over a week ago that we broke through 80,000. Uh, I recommend also their uh, YouTube channel, Wall Street Silver. It's growing. Uh, they've gone from about 10,000 subscribers uh, two weeks ago. They're up to 15,000. So yeah, check them out. Uh, these guys uh, are real, in my opinion. Uh, they're trying to wake up the public. Uh, and uh, it's a long battle, but as I told them yesterday, you don't need a, a big percentage of people awake for things to change, just like during the uh, uh, revolution uh, in the 1770s of the 13 colonies, uh, there was only really 5% of the public that wanted to uh, part ways uh, with uh, King George III, uh, and you saw what happened, right? So let's quickly look at where things are uh, this morning. It's uh, 8 11 London time. So we've seen the technical picture for gold and silver. Now we'll look at uh, what the prices of these paper contracts really are doing uh, overnight. So right now we're at uh, 1905.60. So yes, we're up about $7. We've broken through 1900. As I said, I think 1920, 23, that's gonna be a, a key level. You can expect to see, I would say, the bullion banks, uh, yeah, maybe uh, do 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 a little bit of damage around that level. But uh, their paper used to when they used to throw the paper at the wall, it used to stick. Now it's not sticking as well, and I think uh, their game is almost up. So the high has been 1908. The low has been 1896.60. Silver is picking up. Um, it's performing just like gold right now, up about a third. It has outperformed earlier. We want to see silver outperform though. Uh, right now we're at 2808, up 10 cents. Low has been 2790, uh, the high 2825. Uh, the Dow future is up uh, a third of a percent. Uh, NASDAQ 100 is up uh, 0.2, and the S&P is up a third as well. The currencies, the pound is down a tenth at 141.35. Uh, the euro is at 122.34, down uh, also a, a tenth of a percent. And the dollar is up slightly versus the yen at 108.87. <laughs> the dollar is continuing to flounder to, to really come off versus the U1. It's at 638.70 now, down a third. That 640 level, as I said, is really important. Uh, I saw a headline yesterday that the the Bank of China tried to, uh, the People's Bank of China, the central bank, try to uh, intervene to weaken uh, the U1, but they're not doing a very good job. Uh, so the yuan is quite strong here uh, at the moment versus the dollar. Uh, crude is up uh, half a percent, WTI at 66.28, and high grade copper is up uh, about half a percent at 453.35. And to finish off, a look at the uh, the 10 year yield uh, that's up a basis point at 158 uh, uh, or thereabouts. So there you go. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please share it far and wide. Think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, 
and all these other platforms below here. I wish you all a great day. Take care. Bye.